Hello everyone, my name is Alexander and welcome in today's Fitness Friday video. Since I've got a couple of questions about my gym trainings during the winter, how much do I spend in the gym and also how much do I spend in the gym during the season and I have decided to make a video about uh, how much uh, gym and strength trainings uh, do mean for cyclists. Oftenly you can hear from those old school riders uh, don't go to gym, you'll get so big, it's not the point of cyclists and yeah, they are right. Especially if you are maybe a climber, those big muscles can only uh, be a weight for you, they can produ produce uh, lactates and also spend your oxygen, but there is the other uh, side of the story. What you really need is a leanness, a strength and the capillarization of your muscles. How all this can affect you? Well, you know cycling is an endurance sport and the endurance sports mostly rely on your slow twitch fibers. These fibers have their stamina as they are, but researchers have concluded that strength training can improve the maximum strength of those uh, fibers and that means they, uh, that you will need to work more until they are exhausted. So that means you will save your fast twitch fibers for the end of your race or for the sprint. Additionally, combined strength and endurance training has been shown to increase concentration of fast energy yielding substances, for example phosphocreatine and glycogen and lower concentrations of lactate at the end of a 30 minute uh, bout of cycling at 80% of VO2 max. In the other words more energy and less discomfort. Of course sprinters do spend more time at the gym than the you know, uh, Grand Tour cyclists because the gym strength and those fast twitch fibers mostly improve your uh, acceleration and of course that's, that's what you need in sprints but anyway in any kind of races you will have to sprint many times to catch up the breakaways and you will definitely benefit from the strength training and those additional watts you can outperform in a short burst. If you do high weights and low reps exercises like the bodybuilders do, there are two benefit effects that you will get. One is increased the cross section area of the muscle and the other thing is uh, you will much more improve the flexibility and the coordination of your fibers in the muscle. Nearly all professional races now have a lot of climbs so that means you will have to get much stronger but don't up bump up your weight that much. That means the strength must come from better uh, coordination of your muscle and more motoring units in the muscle. You will definitely see all professional riders do a strength training. Some of them do prefer to do them on bikes, some of them do them in a gym and also on the bike as I do, I do them on both sides. But definitely as in your sports you will see and you will much more benefit from doing a core workout. You really need to do a core workout. Uh, it will prevent you from getting injured, it will improve your flexibility and it's very important to have all those muscles co uh, connected so you don't feel any disbalance. For example, if you have uh, very strong and powerful arms and legs also but your uh, back or your core is not so good, you will definitely uh, have a pain in the back, lower back you will not feel good on bike and that will also uh, stop you from getting more watts on your bike if you lose much more power uh, correcting yourself on the bike and you're bending and twisting all over. It is very important to do all core muscles so you can sit stiffly on your bike and only concentrate on pushing the pedals. So it's much more about technique and the motorics of your muscles and then you will improve much more on the bike, not just only by pushing uh, 200 kilos in your squat or more. And that's it for today's video. I hope that it helped you to understand why, why would you benefit from doing uh, strength trainings. Uh, it would take too long to show you some exercises I do. I will maybe do that in the next video. If there are some specific requests that you would like to hear me talking about, please put them down in the comment section. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.